Hey guys, I'm Ben Hesgriff. I'm a piano tutor and producer from Manchester. And this is a real quick video on how I come up with making my piano solos. So if you've ever seen me playing live on YouTube or on Facebook, you'll know that when I'm playing a song and I, you know, I get to an instrumental break, I tend to do an improvised solo. And one of my subscribers on YouTube asked me, Ben, how do you go about doing it? How is it done? So I thought I'd do a quick video explaining it. Um, yep, yeah, excuse the crazy haircut as well. Uh, literally, you know, locked down, can't get one done. So just gonna have to rock it for a while. Anyway, so yeah, songos. Okay, cool. So the way I uh, the way I think about my songos is um, through the scales, really. So I'm a classically trained pianist. I had lessons from being about seven. And one thing my teacher always made me do was learn my scales, uh, starting with you know the C major scale. And then through other teachers, and over time, I learned the pentatonic scale, uh, the blues scale, some of the minors, you know, the harmonic minor. Whoops. Uh, you can tell I use that a lot. So, yep, there's the harmonic minor scale as well. So, like I say, so it literally depends on the style of song, what you go for, so if you're playing classical music uh, in a minor key, you might want the harmonic minor. So. You know, if you're playing um, something more majorly classical, you might want major scale in there but I tend to make my songs in in blues jazz uh, singer songwriting style so I like to lean towards the pentatonic scale and the blues scale and these scales are made by altering the major scale of C everything comes from that major scale so I'm going to show you real quick what I do so I'll take the C major scale to make a pentatonic scale I'm going to drop the fourth and the seventh note so F and B To make that into a blues scale, I'm just going to flatten the third note. It's that simple. And if I want to make it into the minor um, version of that, I'm just going to start from the A and play the same scale. Because A is my relative minor. And literally, I'm just going to use those notes and I'm going to use my understanding of them, uh, them scales and just go with where my head and my heart feel the song should go. So, let's say this was the chord progression. A minor, F major 7, we'll go to an E major and then back to F major 7, just to make it interesting. So. This is using the pentatonic scale to start with, so. Okay, now if we use the same chords, but we use the blue scale, it'd be more like this. So occasionally there you'll notice as well, I slipped into the chord. Uh, because the melody note, so the top note, is there. And I could put the chord in as I played it. There was just plenty of space and I was in the right inversion, so I threw it in. So you can do that as well, you can always throw chords in underneath your top melody note. So you've got... There you have it so yeah like i say a real quick video explaining that so try it out yourselves take a song find the key it's in work out your major scale first turn that into a minor scale 
okay? And then you can also find the relative minor. And then convert those into the pentatonic scale and the blues scale. And just have fun, play around and see what you can come up with. And it's just that simple. Thanks for watching, guys.